For a year or so in 2019, Flamenco was a co-host on Ethan Rouse's show, The Kill Scream. He was one of many that tried to replace former co-host, Zidane, after his departure. Flamenco was known for being a dweeb and being cringe at telling gun funny jokes. Many viewers hated him for being unlikable, a weeb, and not reading social cues. Even his co-host Ethan Ralph would treat him as a punching bag because he was that easy to pick on. One of the many flaws that Flamenco has is when he says something cringe or stupid, he either immediately backs down and pretends not to know what's happening when he gets pressured, or he doubles down and looks like an even bigger re- in 2020, Flamenco would leave his position as a co-host on the Killstream due to threats to dox him, but he would occasionally appear on the Killstream in 2021. That would summarize his friendship with Ethan Ralph, but the two would have a back and forth, leading to Ethan Ralph now hating him. Flamenco wouldn't let his detractors stop him though, and he would turn to a new streamer to be co-host for. The rioting needs to stop. Whoa! Hey! hey, hey, hey. 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 It needs to stop. Right, 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 right. Augie RFC is a commentary streamer who covers drama with an assortment of co-hosts, mainly also being commentators. Flamenco and Augie first formally met on the kill stream, and they would get along quite well, with Flamenco occasionally being one of the co-hosts on Augie's stream from 2020 through 2022. This is where I and most people who know about Flamenco have more knowledge and info on the cringe rabbit hole that is Flamenco's existence online. Everything was going alright for Flamenco. Yeah, a few people found him annoying, but he wouldn't do anything bad enough to warrant real hate. But that would all change in late 2021 through mid-2022, where he would get into a lot of drama over his actions and statements toward his quote-unquote enemies. In February of 2022, Flamenco would threaten to email fellow e-celeb Xander Hall's mother in order to tell her that her son was saying bad things about her. Xander Hall is a political streamer and YouTuber who Flamenco had online beef with because of a few disagreements. Flamenco got Xander Hall's mother's email through a dox. Like, I will go into the fucking mud, though. I will. I will. Because, you know what I, I think I might do if he really actually does try to sabotage me? Because it's not really about the the uh, the damages, right? He is unable to really damage me. But what I could do, what I could do is, and I don't think this is doxing, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling this out for you guys. I'm feeling this out with you guys because I want to spitball my idea anyway. This guy doesn't make a whole lot of money on the internet, but he has rent that is like upwards of $1,600 a month. My personal theory is, is that he is not... Sub, uh, he is um, he is not subsidizing his own income through work or anything, and that he is largely paying his rent through his parents floating his rent bill. Now, he has a very interesting history with his parents. He has a very interesting history with his mother, specifically. This guy has gone on record saying that his mom was, was mentally and physically abusive towards him. So, I don't know if his mom knows about that. I'm wondering, should I send his mom all this nasty stuff that he said about her? Hmm. It really makes you think. It really makes you think. Bro, I'm going to need you to calm, da calm down. Because, you know, I'm, all I would be doing is I would be sending information about his uh, about his mom, or about him and what he said about his mom to his mom. Now, I'm not, I, I don't know. I don't know. In this clip, Flamenco wants to know whether or not the chat is okay with him trying to kick Xander Hall out of his own house, which his parents pay for. He sounds very happy in this clip, almost like he's been planning this for weeks. And the thought of Xander Hall getting kicked out would make him cream himself even more than any Shota could. He would be later wrangled by Augie and would immediately concede his plan. So the example the that level. I'm giving is it's, like, it's the, I just sent a bunch of to Nick's house or something like different. that. The example that you're giving is potentially mm -hmm. causing permanent issues with the relationship between Xander Hall and his mom. Yeah. Why? And also not to mention the fact that his mob has nothing to do with his activities on the internet, right? Yeah, you're in an argument. People, you're in an argument people... with Xander Hall. You're not in an argument with Xander Hall's mom. You're not yeah. in an argument with fucking, you know, uh, you, you don't have any issue with what Xander Hall's mom has posted because she's a private figure, right? Yeah. But now you're going to make her life potentially hell by showing her a yeah. bunch of shit he said about her and adding some sort of major family feud and potentially driving a wedge in this guy's family. And you even la like laughing at him. You're like, hold on. There's like a clip in here that I, I need to fucking play. Some people are saying do it. Some people are saying don't do it. It's not ruination. No, it wouldn't be ruination because you just have to get a freaking job. I'm just, I'm just, I, I want to. What does I, that I, mean? Uh, I believe that he's probably like being subsidized by his mom. You sound like a schizo. Wait, what? Yeah. Do you have like any evidence for that? Who cares? Uh, um, I, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. And I guess like the one thing I will say though is, is that like once people kind of like, um, 
laid it out for me that like, hey, if you do this, like that's going to hurt his mom. I kind of would say that I like immediately moved off of that because like, yeah, you are right. But his mom didn't really have anything to do with it. But like in this clip, you're like, I want to ruin his job. Yeah. Right. Because you think that what you would be doing would uh, well, no, affect it his would job. Be, no, it, it would because be. Because you think that his mom is paying his bills and by causing yes. a wedge between him and his mom, obviously mom's not going to pay the bills anymore, which is what you think is happening. So you think you're going to make this dude f- homeless unless he's able to get another f- job. That's insane. Okay. Like you're literally threatening to ruin his life. I don't and think you're gloating ruin his about life. it, and you're laughing about it. I don't think it, it would ruin stream. his life. But I you think just it would cause said, minor inconvenience. I think it would cause minor What do you mean minor, minor inconvenience? inconvenience? You're, you're, you're talking about making him lose his I don't job. think it would cause. I do not think it would cause him to get evicted. I don't care. You're literally okay. making him ruin his. Like you're in this clip. You think that what you're going to do is going to cause him to lose his job, right? Mm-hmm. How the f- is that not a big deal? If the chat would have said, yes, Flamenco, you, you should really contact this guy's random mother, dude. You, you should really do it. He would have done it. This is all under the guise of the possibility that Xander Hall could have made a mean video about Flamenco. This drama showed the lengths Flamenco would have gone in order to get a quote-unquote own on his online enemies. When Flamenco gets confronted for being an internet schizoid, he immediately bows down and says, Okay, dude, uh, fair enough, dude. Like he's looking for approval. He would have had no remorse if he went through with this incident. In March, Flamenco would accuse Twitch streamer Keffels of stealing money from the Communist Party of Canada to buy drugs and toys for their s work. His source? A tweet from a random Twitter user. While it later turned out Kevils was actually a former coke addict, at the time of the accusation, there wasn't any evidence of that. This is not to be confused with that one time Kevils mostly bought cocaine through the crowdfunding project that was meant to grant her safety from alleged online harassers. YouTuber Aiden Projects would go on Doc on the radio stream and confront Flamenco on this embezzlement accusation. Sure, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So this is, so I asked for like the tweet with like proof relating to the claim and this is what you linked as your proof. Do you understand why uh, this is not enough to state something as fact, especially I don't think in that's true. of a crime? I don't think that's true. So you, you think, you think the word of a Twitter user is enough to state something as fact? I think that it's uh, more evidence than Keffels has laid out for any of her claims. That's not what I'm asking. I'm not asking how much evidence she's laid out. I'm asking in your personal opinion, do you think that the word of a Twitter user is enough to state that somebody committed a crime as a fact? Um, with this one specifically, I think it's a pretty credible allegation. Okay, regardless of how credible you think it is, you stated it as fact. That is the problem that I'm having here. Normally, in when the tweet ed- specifically, yes. In the tweet specifically, yes. Um, also, I have some spelling errors in that tweet, so it is what it is. However, in the video stream that I did, I was very clear that, like, this is the allegation and why I believe this is extremely credible. Okay, I mean, regardless of how, whether you think it's extremely credible or not, do you understand how it may be, like, a little bit defamatory to accuse somebody of a crime no, without any- No, I don't think it is. This is your only evidence. Your only evidence is the word of a Twitter no, user. No, it came to light that this is what happened. They can dispute that if they want to, but this is what came to light as a yeah. result of Keffels' uh, major kerfuffle. This wasn't being talked about until after they took credit for getting Destiny banned on Twitch. The problem, okay, but the problem here is, in the initial tweet, this is stated as fact. There's no allegedly, there's no this is being claimed, there's, like, this is stated as a fact, as if it happened, right? And if this is the only proof you have for the fact that it happened in relation to the crime that Keffels is being accused of, I think that that's incredibly irresponsible to okay, state it as fact. So in this tweet, there is no if, there is no alleged, there is no, like... Uh, somebody is claiming this. And there's also spelling errors, yes. Uh, This was a very spur-of-the-moment tweet, yes. You were, okay, but you're talking about somebody committing a crime, okay? I don't care if it's spur-of-the-moment. At the end of the day, what you said is, so Kevl's got super docs, and in the process of deleting everything, with the cake being that she got ousted from her Communist Party chapter for embezzling funds to fund her opiate habit, lol, and your only evidence is the claim of a Twitter user, right? Embezzlement is a crime. Does this not seem irresponsible to you for this to be a spur-of-the-moment tweet? I don't think it's at all irresponsible. There's evidence to back it up. There is what evidence? evidence that makes the allegation credible. Specifically, what evidence? Like, I, the, the tweet. The allegation is out there. Well, allegations well, are a evidence. Tweet, a tweet is not evidence. A tweet is not evidence. Allegations are evidence. Allegations are evidence. No, no they are yes, not. Yes, yes Alleg- they are. No, yes, they in, are. In, they in, no, are. In no, in no allegations are absolutely evidence. Allegations are not evidence. That is, that is completely allegations absurd. Allegations are absolutely evidence. This statement is stupid on multiple levels because, for those who are unaware, Flamenco has been accused of being a pedo multiple times. One specific example is where he was on the live stream show Kino Casino and YouTuber PPP accused him of being a f***o. 
There was circumstantial evidence of this at the time, but later Flamenco was caught reading Boy Soprano, a Sherlock anti book where a little boy is groomed and abused by his stepmother. For him to make the statement that allegations are evidence, he would have to admit to being a pedo every time someone calls someone. Flamenco claims that the accused need to prove their innocence, and in light of this, it would turn out Flamenco has sealed family court documents, which the internet would of course assume and accuse Flamenco of groping his sister. Flamenco says this isn't true, but according to his logic, he has to leak his court documents to earn his innocence. Guilty before proven innocent. While we're on the topic of degeneracy, why don't we talk about what Flamenco is into? In April, Flamenco would get some kind of karma by getting mega docs after leaking former co-host Ethan Ralph's number. While I don't condone doxing of any kind, I'll have to admit, it revealed something very interesting. When his email was leaked, a Kiwi Farms user tried to log into various adult websites. These include The Hub, various different hentai sites, DeviantArt, one of those adult dating apps, and the most interesting and cringe, Reddit.com. When Flamenco was 26, he would post on a BDSM dating subreddit, where he showed off his W Riz for his soon-to-be lover, saying how caring and gentle he was, asking for a slave, stating, I'm not only looking for a slave, but a friend, and possibly a lover. <laughs> oh my god, that's so AIDS, dude. Yo, W Riz for real, for real, on God. Flamenco... <laughs> Flamenco would, <laughs> Flamenco would also reveal he liked to be dominated, but unfortunately for him, no one took him up on his offer. He would later be tried and persecuted by the great RFC court for being a degenerate, for liking dummy mommies. That's so AIDS, dude. Roll it. Yep, 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 yep. Now, yeah. when was this written? Let's just get that out of the way here. Yeah. I, listen, all I can say in my defense is that I used to be a, a little bit of a coomer, and uh, used to. got introduced. <laughs> you were of age in 2015. A right? lot less, a lot less so, a lot less so. I haven't looked at like actual pornography yeah, the... in like five years. So you're reformed. I mean, like to an extent. Like you're like I, Milo. I you're like a reformed like, sodomite, right? Except you never actually took it up the ass, right? <laughs> yeah, I still look. I still look at Hent every once in a while, but like, all right. you know. <laughs> what are you gonna do, right? <laughs> this is gonna be listen, such a weird listen, at this point. Um, let's just go ahead and knock out this uh, this post right well, here. He says he doesn't like illegal shit in the post. So. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. let's clarify the question there. There's nothing illegal, right? You're saying that? Yep. I, I I have. I think the the youngest that I've ever dated is a 19 year old when I was 24. Okay. But like the material that you watched, like none of it was like Lollycon or no. Shotacon or anything so, of that nature. So, so, um, a couple of guys in my Discord apparently have, have taken it upon themselves <laughs> to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, review my oh smut. My and, you uh, enlisted some to, people uh, to watch it? No, I did not enlist anybody to watch it. People, like, took it upon themselves, apparently. Okay. And what was and, the report? Uh, the, the report from my, uh, my lead degenerate, Alaseal, says, uh, here, I'll, I'll, I'll DM it to you. I'll DM, uh, his report <laughs> about this. His, this his book report. Show. Worst is beak. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Nothing under beak up. What? <laughs> what the fuck? God yeah, damn, Alicil, man. Alicil has a, uh, a specific autism when it comes to degeneracy. Okay. Worst is beak up and a college twink. I read read. Okay, this is manga, right? So the, I got I read yeah. through it twice already. So ch making that list and checking it twice. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. So, so, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Good lord, man. This is Big fucked. Badongas, nothing under B cup. And but they're short. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Now let's read the post here, okay? Oh, God. Oh, right. boy. This oh, is... I'm going to shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Just Wait, load the bullets. Uh -oh. yeah. All right. I'm looking to. <laughs> I'm looking to train a slave online, maybe offline, in the very far away future. Uh, well, it's been, uh, it's been, um, half a decade, Flamenco. Have you, uh... What's the slave report here? Yeah, what's the update on that? I never actually got any, um, I never got any, like, uh, I guess feedback from that one, I think. No. I think, uh, <laughs> I think, like, um, yeah, I didn't really get any, like, responses, so oh. it's worth a rooney. It wasn't even worth it, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's get through what he likes. Bondage, a slight bit of yeah. pain. Just a slight bit. Orgasm yeah. control and chastity. 
humiliation, uh, and a lot of uh, other. Wait, am I reading? Okay, uh, is I me like reading this post together. turning you on? Flinko, wait. No, no, no. No, no. It, 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 it just, it just makes me wish for the cold embrace of the grave. It's a, it, there's a, there's links between all of this bondage, yeah. a little bit of pain. So do you yeah. like wear like a chastity belt? Like you like being dominated. You don't no, have to answer no, that. I, I would be the, I, I would be the one. Never mind. I would be the one in this one. Yeah. Okay. All right. What I don't like, blood. It's fucking dumpy and all caps in chat. <laughs> all right, dumpy. You're, you're one to talk. Anyway. Dude, oh my god. Motherfucker's getting his oh, revenge yeah, I right guess now. I, I, guess I, I guess I'll get that out of the way, too. I've, uh, I've never taken anything up the butt. I can never take anything up the ass. You've never wanted to yeah. take anything up the ass. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. That's good. Okay. I don't... I Like, I don't butt, butt stuff in general is just gross. All right. What I don't like. Blood and other bodily fluids. Anything that is illegal or anything my slave has a limit about. All I'm right. gonna shoot myself. Oh, he's got, oh he, okay, he's looking for. It. Yeah, I would be. Yeah. Well, at least he's good to his slaves. Wait, that, this is on Reddit. Uh... Is this why you hate Reddit so much? Is this Wait a minute. Uh, I was. I was. I used to. I used to. I used to after hours? No, in general, I hate Reddit. So. Wait, you shat on us so hard for for making a Reddit account last yeah, year. Yeah, you yeah. got R That's true. PSM, fucking That's perfect. true. That's true. That's true. I, I guess I'm a little bit of a hypocrite there. All right. Well, let's get through yeah. this. We're My only... Reddit history is like League of Legends and stuff when I was on Reddit in 2014. Not Dear fucking BDSM person. <laughs> Dear yeah. Lord, save me. All right. All of this would build up to Flamenco's meltdown and downfall in July 2022. Yeah. The Salvo Pancakes drama. YouTuber and piss drinker Salvo Pancakes would commission a satire song from parody singer Mike the Bike called Hey Flamenco. This song was meant to poke fun at Flamenco, calling him a weirdo, and that's basically it. Hey, Flamenco, leave the kids alone. All in all, you just did the frickin' go on. As you could tell, it's a pretty lighthearted song meant to tease him. However, Flamenco didn't take too kindly to this. Mike the Bike uh, made a song for Salvo, uh, Salvo Pancakes calling me a pedophile. And uh, as a result, I've told him he's no longer welcome in any of my streams. Oh, now he's like DMing. It's like it was a fucking joke. Yeah, dude, hey, I'm gonna call you a pedophile. Oh, that's just a joke. That's just a joke. <laughs> Isn't that silly? Yeah, oh, fuck you, faggot. Are you fucking kidding me? Is there something mentally fucking wrong with you? Are you retarded? Are you actually retarded? Is there something, like, mentally wrong with your brain? Were you dropped on your fucking head, Mike? Is there something, like, absolutely fucked in the head with you on that? Yeah, oh, it's a funny joke. Go fuck yourself, dude. Go fuck yourself. A uh, perceived slight. The dude literally made a song calling me a pedophile. For a guy who constantly goes on to other people's streams calling me a pedophile for zero reason. So, no, no, sorry, sorry, oh, no, that's not a really funny joke, you're just a piece of shit, and, uh, yeah, you go fuck yourself. I'm gonna con continue to call you a piece of shit now. You might notice that Flamenco has an issue with double standards. It's okay when he tries to harass someone's mother and accuse someone of embezzlement, but when someone makes a satire song about him, it's suddenly a crime? This guy cried over a parody song about him while the Bing Bing Wahoo music is playing in the background. And this is all despite Flamenco playing MC Jarbo on his streams. MC Jarbo is known for making way worse songs than Mike the Bike about Ethan Ralph and his community, the Ralph of Males. Flamenco would message Mike the Bike saying that he isn't allowed on streams anymore. I'm not reading all of them since they're basically the same stuff. He came to Mike Malding, telling him to take the song down. Mike refused, and he also questioned whether or not MC Jarbo has made jokes about Ethan Ralph being a pedo. Yes, he has. He would also maul about Salvo stabbing a sonic plush. Yeah. Salvo was a known troll that pissed commentators off for content, and while many would just say he's annoying, Flamenco thought Salvo was out to ruin his career. Being abnormally upset, when Salvo said something that was clearly a joke, he would also maul about Salvo saying KYS. While being called a pedo online is pretty bad, when other people get harassed by Flamenco's followers, he doesn't care. One example of this is when Psych Draws and many other people told Flamenco that his mods were threatening to grape and dox them. But when Flamenco heard this, he was like, 
Uh, okay, they're, they're just weirdos, dude. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything about them, but, uh, are you okay? While these might be chalked up as jokes, why wouldn't Flamenco care about people getting threatened and harassed by his fans when he cries about someone calling him a p online? He would only remove the mods a full month later because they were quote-unquote annoying him. Flamenco would say on stream that he would remove them instantly, but he was lying. Okay, but I'm just saying, people anymore. definitely no, 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 say no, no, wild shit in your community. That, the, second that, the second that somebody says that they're gonna like rape somebody, yeah, they're gone. What, so how's gone? No, Gremity was the one that uh, threatened to like. But how said he wanted to rape Psych? No, I think he said. I think he made like the Sargon joke. What? But that's not a joke. It's real. It's a. It's a rape threat. No, the Sargon thing is, I wouldn't even rape. Dude, him. dude, dude. The same way you're freaking out about Sava saying that I'm and stabbing really a Sonic doll. I'm just like. But now you're like, saying that because it's a Sargon quote, that makes it fine. Well, the Sargon one is, I wouldn't even. Right. right. So you know that this that's a joke, is, but you, but you is, think the Salvo is, joke is too far. This one is somebody, I want to stab this person. What? What? <laughs> you're wait, 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 you're comparing stabbing and a dude? No, wouldn't even Yes, rape. you are. <laughs> you literally no, are, the, dude. No, the Sargon thing is, wouldn't even rape. Okay, so what? Okay, like, if so we're like, so over one, why not the like, other? I'm, I'm, I'm like confused. Like people, like yeah, if I'm I went on about like too. anybody to get like upset about, like I can just say that I want to fucking kill them and stab them, and that's like something you'd be like okay with the Flanko, Flanko, Flanko. Yeah. Plus, if you went live on stream one day and you had like a little fucking uh, pig doll or something, right? And you were like, mm -hmm. I want to kill Ethan Ralph, and then you're cutting that shit up or whatever. Like nobody would take that seriously as like you intend to fuck like kill Ralph or something like that. Especially if you're uh if you're fucking known as like a community control or, or character that is literally just that only exists uh for the sake of pissing people off. Don't you think that that uh don't you think what you're saying doesn't make any fucking I don't know what to say. <laughs> like you don't you, none of what you're saying makes sense like, to me. I, I, and I don't I think that you actually think any of this, by the way. I think that you no, have I, a I set hate, like... of moral standards that you do not uh carry yourself. I think that Flamenco is no stranger to making fun of someone online. He has repeatedly made jokes about Ethan Ralph's Xanax problem, which he developed around his father's death. While putting on an Ethan Ralph inspired avatar, wearing a hat, calling him a kid diddler. While I don't really care what Flamenco does, he is not consistent at all in his morals. But what can you expect from a commentary though? Many people in the commentary sphere would start to see Flamenco as a hypocrite and begin to criticize him, so it wouldn't be surprising for them to finally confront him. Before all this, Flamenco would go to commentators to chill things over and say, okay, that's fair, conceding every argument like he has no spine. However, many were done wrangling Flamenco, and this would spell doom for him. On the Agi RFC stream, go subscribe by the way. Augie as well as fellow commentary YouTubers Turkey Tom and Bo Blacks would talk about Flamenco's drama with Mike the Bike and Salvo Pancakes. Flamenco would join to clarify his points, but he would immediately be shat on. Flamenco, what? you're on the yep. air. So is yeah. it true that you've banished Mike the Bike from your community? Is he not, yeah, not, not allowed anymore? My anymore? What do you think, like, don't you think that that's like a Ralph move though, like with the MC Jarbo stuff? Well, no, Ralph, like, Spurred out at you for playing MC Jarbo's songs on your stream. Yeah, but aren't you like okay? So you're just mad at Mike? Is that is that what the difference is? Yeah, specifically Mike. Uh, you don't think like it, it's? I mean, you don't think it's just like a f meme or like a, you, Mike doesn't actually think you're a pedophile. Do you think that? Uh, okay, so like it's okay when people call it as long as it's a joke. Well, I mean, like we come from a sphere where it's like stuff like sh like this. Like we. Say I mean, we joke about everything. We, like, we say the most shit, horrible you know? shit about each other. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, like I don't think I've ever joked calling you a file though. You but you have joke. laughed at MC Jarbo calling Ralph a pedophile, right? Yeah. I don't think he ever called Ralph a pedophile. I think he called Pantsu a pedophile. Wasn't like the whole okay. point of the song like about how he's like the fuck Memphis PO or something with Faith or something and, you know, I don't know. I well, he, like he's he makes like direct it, you know? uh, he makes direct allusions to like barely legal, so I don't know. Well, I mean that would I mean that would kind of insinuate like really, right? I no, if they're legal then it's not pedophilia. What? I mean, then why even call it out? Why even say barely legal? Why even point because, out that? Because like, a lot of people were saying that like it's weird that a like thirty-five year old dude is. Okay, here's some lyrics from MC Jarbo. As the kingpin of the potato ring, I'm from the Bible Belt. I get the kids young, and I got my own church. This is ridiculous. He called him a pedophile. Okay, he, called he did. Kitchen. He definitely yeah. did. Oh, yeah. Um. So. And I yeah. ain't talking about no college kids, son. If they can crawl, they can sure as shit run. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. So definitely called him a pedophile. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Like, I'm I glad know, we got that cleared I'm not saying up. You can't be, I'm not saying you can't be sore about it, but I think you have to acknowledge at some point, like, we come from a sphere where, like, horrible f said about everybody and stuff like this, right? Um, and I, I just feel like it's, like, a little hypocritical to, like, cause, like, a moral concern over I it. I wasn't really causing a moral it. concern of, over You're it, though. I said, up. like, you actively helped a guy who constantly, like, for no reason says that I rape kids and am a pedophile. Salvo I, do, I do, I do, Salvo I do, I do on that note, I do. Salvo has literally said that I rape kids. On that note, I do understand it, especially after, like, the PPP thing. And I, like, the, the, the other thing is, like, yeah. I don't, like, specifically with this, like, would you guys be so laissez-faire if somebody, like, made a song calling Bigby a pedophile? Well, obviously not, but that's, like, a more... Well, like, then, um, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not it's really tracking this there, logic though, right? where because it's okay you're from when it happens it's, to me, but not when it happens it's just, to, Bigby's like, other people. Bigby's not from, like, the shithole internet that we're from, though, right? Bigby's just trying to do hey. his thing and make videos. We're in it, we're engaged in a fucking toxic sphere. Where we, t where we make fucked up jokes about people all the time. You don't have to like them, but like, Salvo is a fucking troll at the end of the day. Like, that guy okay. literally just exists to like, fuck with you. Well then, like, okay, so, like- no, I'm saying don't take him seriously. Okay, like, would you, if you take would, a troll seriously, if, you lose. Well, sorry, calling Bigby a pedophile, would you have like, the same well, I just explained to you, it's different, because Bigby's not from- oh. Bigby doesn't engage in the same shit Well, why? It, so, if Bigby, troll, so if Bigby started talking about Ethan Ralph, like he made a video about Ethan Ralph, then it would be okay for that song to be made? I like, Ralph. okay, first of all, I don't like that we're talking about Bigby in the context of fucking like drama and shit, given that we kind of try to avoid that. But I don't know. For the sake of this fucking, to answer, answer the question, like tangentially related to my drama, because like we're both accused of kind of the same thing. So to answer the question, know. if someone made a song about Bigby, like I wouldn't, mm -hmm. I wouldn't care. That's his fight. Like it's not my deal. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like like we and like. Would I you say that like to be out of line to be like angry at that person that made the song? I don't know that it's out of line for him. I would say that the reason why he's specifically, Augie's specifically talking about you is because you're from a side of the internet where MC Jarbo was promoted. You promoted him before mm -hmm. specifically. And MC Jarbo called someone who is not a pedophile. As far as we're aware anyway, right? Mm -hmm. He called him a pedophile directly. And you were okay with that. But well, then I when it comes to you- you're conflating like a serious allegation with like, I, maybe it's just- maybe we I'm have not a saying it's a serious well, allegation. Well, like, well, maybe we have a different perspective on this. I, when I look at like all the shit Salvo says, I don't take literally any of it seriously because I just know, I know he's doing a bit. Like he's, he's a fucking goofball. Like his whole shit. Do you know how much like crazy shit he said about me? He said he's going to go after my fucking sponsors. He said he's going to do an expose stream on Connor and like fucking expose him or some shit. He said that he's going to fucking uh, like steal my fucking paid content and shit and stuff. Like like he says crazy shit all the time just to be a fucking. Like he's. I, I don't take any of it fucking seriously because it's just like. He, yeah, I, and if I was like getting yeah. angry specifically at Salvo, I would probably agree, but I'm mostly getting angry at Mike like helping him call me a pedophile. Yeah, and it's perpetuating an allegation like that- The song is like unambiguous. The implication is that I'm a pedophile in that song. And isn't it perpetuating an allegation that was brought up in a serious manner from like PPP and stuff like that? Not And then Salvo just like kind of- Yeah, I mean, on that, that note, I do- further. On that note, I sympathize, because if I was on that stream with PPP and fucking Worski, I would be traumatized over it, right? Like, I would be very- I, I'm, not, I'm not even like- I'm not even- I'm not even like super upset with that specifically. It's just like, I, I felt like it was- Oh wait, hold on. I, I'm also apparently using the shitty mic. Um, I'm, I'm more irritated with somebody that I thought I was like friendly with going out and making a song, calling me a pedophile for a person who constantly just incessantly calls me that. So it's more because it's Mike, because you're like you're like buds. Yeah, that's why I'm angry. At, that's why I was angry at Mike. Oh, I wasn't, like really angry at Salvo. All right. As you could probably see, he has nothing to defend himself with. His greatest enemy, Nicholas Diorio, would later come on stream, and here's where things get interesting. Uh, I don't know. Well, Nick's in here. Is Nick on? Hey, what's going what's on? Up? Yo, what's up? I'm just sick and tired of your shit. Like, this is probably the last straw for me. I don't understand this at all, so I'm just gonna ask you a few questions. I hope you can kind of help me out with some answers. Are you answers. talking to Flam? Yeah, I'm talking to Flam. Um, okay, okay. So sure. I just want to know, you're the guy who goes and does the IBS content where you cover Ethan Ralph and you laugh about songs calling him a fucking pedophile all the time. Uh, you sit on the Kiwi Farms, you're talking about Xander Hall's girlfriend and his family and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. You're hanging out with PPP. The guy who just literally makes shit up on live stream, and you'd know that better than anybody. Um, and, and Big B does like movie reviews. So when I hear, oh my god, Flamenco's really mad that somebody made a parody song calling him a pedophile, you roll around in mud all fucking day. You what, you got a little on your shoe, now you're gonna be a big pussy about it on stream? Who do I call randomly pedophile on the internet? You play the songs, you laugh when it happens to Ralph. What's the fucking difference? Wait, 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 you literally launched an you launched an incredible you launched an incredible allegation saying mm -hmm. that Keffel's fucking laundered money from her Soviet whatever, this. and you base it off but some fucking retard on Kiwi Farm saying it. That was your proof that you promoted. That was a person on Twitter that was saying it before they blew up. Okay, and well, where's the proof of that one, Flamenco? You sat there and debated Aiden on why you can just post uncredited allegations publicly. I'm getting a little sick and tired of you having like random fucking blow up moments and then coming to Augie and then Augie kind of like smooths things over in the community and then because you go back around and act like a retard again. Because you come on here and you do your little rounds and you have your little conversation and then everyone thinks you're okay again. I'm getting sick and tired of these random Flamenco meltdowns. I'm getting tired random. of you saying that you're- is it random? Well, I mean, I don't. Normal people don't go out and say that they're gonna go like contact fucking Xander Hall's mom, Flamenco. That's not a normal thing that normal people do. 
Okay, and normal people also don't randomly fucking call people pedophiles. Yeah, well, welcome to your community, asshole. That's what all those it my do. Community? All the stuff you cover. That's all that Actually, shit is. How is it my? Are you gonna tell me you've never insinuated that Ralph is a bit weird because he was talking to the eighteen-year-old girl? You've never gone a little over the top I on say it. It was weird. I, didn't, I never called him a pedophile. Well, Flam, you've told me that you think that Vosh is like friends with pedophiles, right? Yeah, I think he probably is. I don't think he himself is a pedophile. Oh, what's that based on? What is it? Uh, specifically, one his statement that he says that like probably 10% of his audience has consumed child pornography at some point, and to the, like, statement that uh, there should no, uh, child pornography should not be made illegal. Okay, well, let's just ignore the fact that that entire second point is literally based on not getting what Vosh was trying to say in that conversation that we've got over a hundred times. I think it was running cover for people who have consumed it. Sure. Well, let me ask you a bit mm. about the Salvo stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. So you claim that him calling you like six times is harassment. What were the 40 uninterrupted Vosh messages? Would you call okay. those harassment? What about the one when you told Vosh uh, to own his CP stance in, in his private message? Was that pedophile stuff? I'm just wondering. When did I tell him to kill himself? Who cares? You do okay, IBS, so, so, faggot. So, so, like, so, what do you mean? Oh, 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 oh he's gonna okay. kill himself. Literally, uh, literally, <laughs> literally, literally, every single person. Dude, oh, he said KYS. He's such a loser, dude. That's Holy a, shit. That is We're gonna moralize KYS? Wait, what? Literally every single person in this entire call Wait, has you know told someone else to You know when that, you know that, you know that, you know that, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know that, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, Flamenco, you gonna do it? Jump. One second, Mike. Jump, Flamenco, jump. Do you know when that timing was? When? When you were being called a What's pedophile? What's the timing? Were you, were you gonna jump? Everyone was calling me a pedophile? Oh, God. Okay. okay we gotta think about Flamenco's feelings, guys. Nick, since you brought, since you brought up your fucking special, um, special needs friend, if Xander Hall was, by me, told to go and kill himself during, like, when everyone was calling him some sort of weird Did you notice he room? started stuttering when he talked about Xander Hall as if the tick just went off? Oh my god. Nick, you're the one who brought him up, you fucking fat retard. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, would you, would you have as, <laughs> would you have as much, uh, charity for me if that happened? Flamenco, I'm out of charity for you. You're I'm out of charity for you. When you're, so you're not going to oh, answer. Can you the repeat it? I wasn't paying attention. I was still laughing. Yeah, at the I know. Last you generally don't do that whenever you decide that you don't fucking engage with people. It's really fucking cute how that happens when other people will engage. Augie, with you, Augie, can you tell Flamenco he's doing a good job so the community doesn't hate him after this convo? So Flam, basically, I mean, the point that Nick's making, and it's, it's one that you know, I, I have no hatred for you, but I'd have to agree with it. Like, you're in a community of people in which you yeah, had absolutely. no. Absolutely. If, if, no, 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 no. I, I'm, can I just make a point, please? Yeah. Uh, you're, you're in a community of people which has had no, you know, absolutely no issue with like making fun of people. Calling each other in a community, you know, the IBS. Know. This guy fucking hangs out and frequents yeah. kiwi farms. He's yeah. in the threads. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. reading his own okay, thread okay, okay. like eight hours wanna, in between when they're shitting. Tom finish real quick. I just want to make the point. Yeah. So, so we were talking about this, and we kind of made that point to you, and you were like, "Okay, well, I get that, but the real issue is that you know I'm friends with Mike." Is I think the wording you said. That's what I understood. Friendly. Anyway. Okay, friends, friendly. That's the understanding I had is that you were cool with Mike. Then Mike yeah. comes in here, and Mike's like, "I don't fucking know you. We like interacted like twice. Like we don't really know each other. I make parody songs about everyone." You know what I mean? So, so that's what he's saying. And and then, you know, Nick brought up something that jogged my memory. And I got to say, he has a good point. The fact that you were threatening to send a letter to Xander Hall's mom to like try to get him evicted or whatever. Like that's, yeah, that's definitely pissed off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But it's not just yep, you were pissed he's off. Pissed like, off there's, moments. there's no, there's no justification for that. Like, like it's hard to feel bad for you when someone makes a joke song calling you a pedophile when, when you were like on stream, like advocating for sending a letter to someone's mother because you didn't like their like, YouTube videos or some stupid shit. Like it's just, I don't know. The yeah, Salvo guy I too. This guy pretended that. he leaked my cock to the internet. <laughs> okay, Nick, Nick, faking nudes and being called a pedophile are kind of different things. Isn't? Would you not agree? I also <laughs> wouldn't want my nudes circulating if they were real, right. and I wouldn't want people but, to think that I had nudes out there if they were made. Both the of these are bad for me. need to avoid them this hard, dude. Flam, Flam, he's not even avoiding it. He's not even avoiding it. He's treating it like a joke. Because he is. No, he's treating it like a joke because you're avoiding the point that we're all making. And the point that we're making is that you engage in the same exact shit. And if anyone else in the community had a song made I on I don't them, engage oh. in the same shit, though. I never fucking call people pedophiles. Yo, you play in the mud. Why, 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 why is calling someone a pedophile so over the line? Why is calling someone a pedophile in a joke song so over the line when you were threatening to get someone evicted or some shit or like send a letter to his fucking mom, to Xander Hall's mom? Good point. To tell the person what they were saying online? Something I didn't actually do, by the way. Wait, no, no, you would have done it if no one stopped you. If Augie no, didn't was already no calling. No, no, I was already walking it back. Okay, like, okay, you were already walking it back on stream. You were already walking back because your chat told you to walk it back. Yeah, people were telling me that I was like fucking chipping out. Yes, and you were. But if that was in your private thoughts and you had no one to tell you to stop doing that because it would look bad, then you would have done it if you thought people. Well, would I probably like, would have pulled epic. I, I feel like I would have probably cooled down. I mean, maybe it. you can feel that way, but I have no indication to believe that. Yeah, fair enough. I have no reason to believe that. So it's like it's hard. It's 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 hard. It's hard. Uh, sorry, sorry. I, I actually, I gotta go. So I want to say something really quick. Okay. So I want just the main, the two main points that everyone has been making ever since you, ever since this whole thing started is one, that you shouldn't have even taken the whole thing seriously in the first place. And two, it's very hypocritical. 
even though you haven't called someone else a pedophile, you have laughed and shared songs where MC Jarbo, MC Jarbo technically doesn't even call Ethan Ralph a pedophile. He has Ethan Ralph with his own words, call himself a pedophile, which I would argue is like way worse. So I just want to say that um, for anyone listening, this is a classic example of the Streisand effect. You blew this up and now people that I don't even, I hate Ethan Ralph and Sen share the song. They love the song. They're singing along to the song. This is all on you. <laughs> if you literally didn't do anything, it would have played on Savile Stream and I maybe would have gotten three DMs saying, hey, nice song. Yeah, Mike, Mike didn't even work. post it. He doesn't now, he didn't even have it on way, his channel. By the way, yeah, by the way I was never going to post it. it. I'm posting it this this next Friday. So have a great stream, Augie. Talk to y'all later. Peace. Talk to you okay. later, Mike. All right. Well, yeah, Flamenco, <laughs> I'll give you like two hours to cool off and admit that everything I said is correct. Uh, and in the meantime, leave those kids alone. Uh, yeah, oh, just, just, and Nick ran away, and Nick ran away. But he didn't run away. What else could well, you say? Because I was fucking talking to him before then, and he didn't well, okay, answer my fucking question. Flamenco, what could you possibly say to him that would change? I must. No, admit, I, I want to ask you, Nick. I want to ask you, Nick. If dirty, you gonna listen? I'm not interrupting you. Okay. If during like a really, really bad time, somebody is like actively calling somebody like that, like a pedophile or something. And then somebody goes into their DMs and tells them to go fucking kill themselves. You think that might be like a little bit different? Yeah, nut up and like do something about it. Don't be a little crybaby online about it. Oh my God, he told me to kill myself when no, I was at my you're, lowest. You're were you in a bad headspace? Were you gonna flag a channel down? Xander Hall. So like, which one is it? I don't is, give a fuck about Xander Hall. <laughs> Nick, you fucking literally- Xander Hall can go kill Nick, himself you too. you literally fucking said I <laughs> sucked him, dude. <laughs> so which one is it, Nick? Which one is it, Nick? <laughs> Xander Hall, don't harm yourself. No, I'm, I'm saying that you stalked him because you're weird. I don't care about Xander Hall. I don't care if you post up outside his house. It doesn't affect me. Which one is it, Nick? Is it harassment or is it just a joke? You're like schizo. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the one holding two different fucking like mentalities on this thing at once. Flamenco, so you could be schizophrenic and Xander Hall could be a loser at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we need to hear from Xander Hall. No. no I'm, gonna get get I'm gonna bring on his mom. Hold on. <laughs> Let's go. Let's bring on Xander Hall. Xander Hall's we can get mom. On, uh, we can get on Ackman's mom. Alright, yeah, do we have anything mom, else? I don't, I don't want to run. Being called. Uh, uh, Flam, Lord knows I don't do a lot of running. Do you have anything you want to say to Nick before before we exit? I mean, like, this fucking, like, um... I don't know this this feigned impartiality. Like I I I'm not I impartial. Like I don't like no, you. This feigned impartial. Yeah, I know you don't like you. you okay, like, it's it's done now. Like I know. Bridge I know. burned. Okay. Fantastic. Finally, you actually you know say what you actually mean for the last like. Dude, does that mean you're no more phasmophobia? What the fuck? Flam, I've always said what I meant. I don't want to hit you, but I do. No, bullshit. You're, you're like, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. You you actively fucking lied when I uh, called you out on saying that you didn't like my channel, and you're like, I never said that. It's like, yes, you. I don't. Did. I don't dislike your channel. In fact, I've you watched it multiple times. You said that. You you really want to lie about that, bro? I watched your Ralph coverage. What are you talking uh -huh. about? You no, Nick. You actively fucking. What does any of this mean? What is this like, clip, dude? What, what, what is this like? Do, do you want me to give you like, pointers you really on how you can improve like, it? It's, it's Nick's like sort of like aloof. I'm like just impartial. And He's I'm not fucking, being aloof. He just shit on you. You've never bro. liked me, and I understand that. No, no, no. There's a difference between like, like, not liking you. Nick. Augie will vouch for me that I haven't liked you. But yeah, now you're no. done. You're completely cut off. No, you're 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 out. Oh no! Oh no! I'm not gonna have Nick's fucking hot takes, dude. I'm not gonna have the fucking fence riding asshole. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh no, dude. Well, I'm not riding a fence. You should leave those you, kids alone. You actively ride fences. No, no, Flamenco, you need to here. leave the kids alone. <laughs> they actively ride fences like every single fucking day. Flamenco, I'm holding a nuclear tape here. A take here. The mm -hmm. fence might tip over. You have to leave the kids alone. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Augie or a Nick will break the fence with his weight. What the fuck? That was the you joke I just made, Boblax. Uh, yesterday's jokes today with Boblax. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, then. Real shit. Right, In the words of Augie gentlemen. RFD, yeah. Xander Hall needs to kill himself. No! I didn't say I'm that. Augie, Augie, stop bailing this motherfucker out every time he fucks himself, please. I didn't such shit. Alright, no, no more fireside Augie, chats with Augie. Augie. No more, no more uh, community out, redemptions for this guy. Nick, He's a total piece of shit. Me out? Uh, when when you had your little fireside chat with him after the Xander Hall thing, and everyone's like, oh, Flamenco's so once, Yeah. Once. Okay. Alright, well, once is enough. Okay. You don't, you don't get one a second time. Bye-bye. Uh, uh-huh. Augie okay. can kind of do whatever he wants, but like, I don't know what that was. Well, I, I don't know. I don't really know. Expect that. Interesting. That was I mean, an I interesting kind of diversion. expected that. I yeah. kind of expected that. Yeah. Diorio completely owned him, leaving him stunned. So much so that moments later, Flamenco replied with, "Well, uh, yeah, I, I was chipping out, dude." Like clockwork, Flamenco conceded again. And since we're talking about Nicholas Diorio. Let's go into Flamenco's hatred for him. Diorio openly hates Flamenco, so Flam did the only thing he knows how to do. Make lame insults. Calling him a Destiny clone, the same as Cuffles, and my favorite, Double Stuff Nick. 
Fumeko assumes that Diorio is mad that he called him an F-slur on stream. While Flam was molding, he was secretly DMing Nick, saying, let me know if anything I say bothers you. All of this molding would lead to Flamenco insulting Diorio in a public Discord server. While this was happening, Edwin's Generations, Nicholas Diorio, and others invited him to a stream to debate Diorio. Nothing important happened, it was just Flamenco and Nick arguing. With Flamenco calling Nick dumb for making a video about how he hated him. Shim down. Oh, yeah. I actively right, said that I had a fucking meltdown right, about right, it. Yeah. I actively said I got upset about oh, okay. it. I'm just saying that the threshold that you have when you're saying, you're done, kiddo. And even the fucking, like, gay little, like, self-importance to be like, oh, I've decided he's done. So he's done. It's so fucking right. lame, dude. Are you done yet? It's so fucking pathetic. Are you done yet? I'm now asking permission for you to be done so I can talk. Okay. <laughs> Stupid as shit ever. Dude. Yeah. I know, you are. Oh my god. I, I want to ask you, something, you but do you want to say something, Nate? Yeah, sure. I, well, I, I lost my train of thought. Okay, no, okay, so I was going to ask, do you even have a train of thought, though? Like, oh, okay, really? okay, look, we'll, we'll let him have that next because I want to ask. You just kind of, like, rely on the, you're Never kidding, mind. it's so nuts! Ah like, you don't really actually engage with anything that people say. Well, Michael, I just dropped, like, a two and a half hour video. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel like I engaged with it more than a few points. I recorded commentary. Flam would end up going mask off, coming with insults and accusations. For example, he said that Mike the Bike jacked off to CP. Keep in mind this was all in a two month span. At this point, everybody in the commentary community hated him. There were videos and live streams bashing Flamenco. With every one of them, a blow was made on Flamenco's channel. All of this would lead to the final blow in the commentary community for Flamenco. After weeks of spamming Augie RFC and DMs, he was invited on stream to get shit on. It's just fucking cope. Add me, let's see if there's shit. No. <laughs> Ab absolutely not. It's just so fucking pathetic. It's just obviously fishing for a reaction. And no, I'm not gonna fucking debate you because your arguments are just retarded. So no, it's boring. I've already debated you. You suck. Jesus Christ. And then we got Diva over here, right? Do you guys want me to? Leave Augie alone, give us Kino. Should I? It's just a waste of time. It's not even gonna be entertaining. Should I? All right, fuck it. Oh, okay, running away. You're Yo, fucking retarded, not? dude. Huh? You're fucking retarded. And this is like the last conversation I'm giving you. Like, you're uh -huh. actually like insane. Wait, can you hear me? Yes. Wait, how, how am I retarded? I'm, I'm just curious on this one. Because you're just like skitzing out of my DMs like every fucking day trying because to- Because you're running your mouth about me. Like, yeah. Am I? Like, now is like the first time I've run my mouth that's why about I was, me. That's why and, I was like, like typing I haven't been in the chat, streaming dude. in like a month. That's why I was just typing in the chat because you were just like running your mouth about me. Okay. You're insane. So, so, and so your like, arguments how suck. That, how's that a schizo moment that the person who was running his mouth about you was getting like multiple DMs? What? No, I'm saying you're a schizo because oh, you're arguing just like, random oh, shit. I was just talking about you. Why are you giving me DMs when you're not getting response to it? Because I'm just Because you're a spur. You. What the fuck argument is that, dude? You're a spur. Okay. I don't have an so argument. I just think you're crazy. So, so can you I actually, actually can just you think you're nuts. You like, no, 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 if you no, want no, me to like fucking turbo quick, debate quick, you or something, my argument no, no, is that you're quick, nuts. I want to hear how. Right? I want to hear. Also, by the way, you were sitting here saying that your reaction to Salvo and Mike the Bike was like way overdone. So why then are you constantly trying to justify it? But I'm curious how that's not. I'm asking how it's not hypocrisy. I already argued with you about this. No, you didn't. Yes, we did. The we tweet argued that for I a just sent night. you, you're just like, what is this like, oh, not question? Like, you didn't right, articulate how Nick that's not hypocrisy. Criticize the quartering for running his mouth about pedo stuff. That's the argument of hypocrisy. That's why I'm saying you're retarded. Oh, so it's, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So it's okay when it's being done to people that you don't like now, when it's profitable. See, this is just your autistic brain just malfunctioning. Like, you can't form an argument. So no, you're just I like, think it's me actually oh, just sort so of like it's, treating it's once okay one because scenario you said that it's okay. and you're just no, like, No, it's okay oh, because it's know, two completely different I fucking situations. No for you that. chimped out at jokes that were made uh -huh. about you. Nick is criticizing the quartering's uh, ability to cover the news. Oh, how is he, how is he criticizing him when he's openly saying that Salvo is like 100% the right to do that? Did, Why is wait, he calling did, out Jared? Wait a minute, hold me? on. I, mean, I, I feel like, like you're lying to me, like, motherfucker. You're lying to me, motherfucker. Hasn't Nick uh -huh. literally been explicitly against the pedo jokes that Salva made about you? How has you? he been? How has, has he, he been? disavowed it vocally? I seem to no, remember Nick had, being no, 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 in no, no, call no, no, no. There's saying a, there's that, a, there's like, a, no, anytime no, no, Salva's no, no, like, no, 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 no. go the kid fucker, and Nick's always just like, dude, calm down. I think you're lying to me. There's a there's an explicit difference between Salvo saying it on a Nick stream and then him not wanting to be held responsible for that, and then him openly like you know promoting this guy and saying, oh, this guy's great because he has like this fucking weird see a grudge against me it's really weird that nick's like go out the window when it's a different person involved in the thing dog really you're such a fat it. you're still crying about a song are you kidding yes a pedophile allegation is worse than a song i've had it i've had it for the last like five minutes and you guys haven't given me a single explanation of how it's the fuck different because it's a song you fucking fat
it. <laughs> 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 it's done. See, this is how Nick argues. He just like makes these like. It's not an argument. I'm making fun of you. And, then make an how argument. How are you dude? still crying argument. about a song? This is the most I, pathetic thing I've what ever heard. I'm complaining about the song. I'm complaining about you being a yeah. You're like oh, Nicholas is getting mad because you are said Kevin had child porn when Salvo saying I should run away from kids. You're a hypocrite. Are you not a hypocrite? I'm explaining it. You're just fucking molding right now. No, but you're fucking you're fucking monologuing now. You're not actually saying anything. That was literally the answer. Answer the question. Answer the fucking question, Reese. Okay, the fucking quartering is saying that Keffels probably has child porn on her fucking computer. Salvo mm -hmm. made us had Mike the bike sing no. a song about no, how no, she no, fucking no, no, stay no, away from no, the kids. No, you beast, little fat liar. Salvo's multiple times said, "Oh, I'm gonna find his unsealed court documents. We're gonna yes, find out that he." Yes, and his every time he does that, oh, I say I disavow it. Just like I critique this quartering. Yeah, I don't have him. I'm still cool with him. He can just say all these fucking things. Oh. Oh, yes, wait, I am wait, still why don't you with criticize him? him then for that? I why do, that's why I say that? I disavow wait, him, and I say that's not true, and I say that you're not a pedophile. You say, can pull like, up like 400 clips of that, me saying, so Mango isn't a pedophile. I don't know about that, I don't know if that's actually true. I disavow. You said that you were not a pedophile. You're such a little bitch. You're actually a little bitch. I, I, and you know, and you know that you're, <laughs> you're full the one of shit crying over a thing. song, dude. Who the come fuck on. is crying? Who the fuck I, is dude, crying? Come on, you and dude, I don't care. Sure, you. what he just did, we just I know that you think the them. world fucking revolves around you, but like, I don't know what to tell you on that one, dude. Yeah, I got a lot of fucking. Uh, I got a lot of gravity. Okay, the world revolves around me. What can I say? <laughs> I mean, you made the fat joke, not me. <laughs> yeah, I <Yes>. did. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, like, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so again, I'm curious. Like, why don't you actively go into Salvo's replies and be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" In his why replies, are you saying I mean, this? his streams. I'm telling him, "Fuck off! Stop saying that." I do, I've done this multiple times. I've done a day stream. Keeps on doing I've done it. Just like, oh, geez, what, am I, my what stream? am I to do? What am, what am I to do? I don't know what to do. To be fair, Flamenco, you've uh -huh. done a billion fucking streams here. Okay, uh -huh. I could realistically come to any conclusion I want once you opened Lollicon. All right, uh -huh. I've been doing you the favor of leaving this whole oh, thing I've alone. Been doing you the favor of not yeah. openly calling yeah. you a pedophile. Shut the fuck up, Nick. What? I've called people a pedophile for less. <laughs> well, I guess I guess we just value the I guess Plan, we just value gonna, the fucking you're accusations. You're not gonna win this argument. Why do you try? Like, I'm I mean, I can't win this argument with you guys because you just like declare that you win and then like, oh, Nobody's well, there you go. I'm not declaring that we won. Like, no, Nick does. Nick absolutely does. That's that how is, Nick argues. I mean, you just lost. It's just like <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man, I lost an argument in terms of voting with your audience. Wow. No, oh I mean, man, like that's you lost. Oh. Like, Flamenco, do you not? Mm -hmm. Didn't you? I'm so confused why you're still arguing this. Mm -hmm. Because I thought, due to a past conversation, you were mm -hmm. coming out and saying, "Yeah, I overreacted. Yeah, I chimped." I out. did overreact. So then why you're still are you going. still fighting? You haven't stopped yet. You're like openly said that I overreacted. So then, then why, why are you, you still here? Because you're running your mouth about me. <laughs> All right, man. Because there's like this know. ongoing thing where like people constantly go I mean, into my okay, fucking that's bullshit, uh, comments though. now and call no, no, me a no, no, fucking no, no. pedophile. That's bullshit, yeah, that came from Salvo, oh, no, 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 not you know, the, uh, That's bullshit. Comes from this clip, this that clip that I watched where you're shit talking mm -hmm. me and Warsky or whatever. I never talked about shit you. Shit talking you. Yeah, you were saying openly, I'm a little bit pissed off about no, 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 no. I was openly telling people in my chat like, yeah, like it's kind of annoying me with Augie and it feels like it's hypocrisy. No, I respond. So then you're acting like I'm an asshole for responding. No, 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 no. You're the one that was talking shit publicly first. I've been openly, I've been openly saying and like everything's like yeah like it sucks with augie right now but i still want to like him i still want to be you know friendly to him it really sucks that he's like kind of no, like gleefully taking clip, one of just joy and like fucking with stop, me stop, but you know, it is what it is flam that clip mm -hmm. that i watched where you're mm -hmm. talking shit about me and worski that mm -hmm. came like in that clip you were literally saying you were like Augie's really starting to like piss me off recently yeah, it's really starting to piss me yeah. off because it felt like hypocrisy it did it 100 felt like hypocrisy then you're retarded okay all right, dude, I'm, I'm going to say one more thing and then I'm pretty much done. I, I just got to be honest with you. I'm not doing this whole feigning sympathy thing. Like, it's actually really pathetic. If you're going to go and get okay. super mad about a parody song and go on like 16 different live streams to tell everybody how fucking mad about it you are, and then people are trolling you like a month later, still calling you a fucking pedophile because you can't let it go. You have no sympathy for me, dog. You just told every person online that this is what's bothering you because of a fucking parody song. And like, I'm not allowed I'm to sorry. be upset about yeah. it. I'm not no, I'm upset about it. <laughs> I, I, from the very beginning, said you're so allowed what? to be upset about it. But so all of this other shit actually, is why you're being made trying fun of. To this is why people are trying to shame quartering and to stop calling Keffels a pedophile. They let them. Shame like, she lets everyone know that she knows. I'm insulting she lets somebody on Twitter. Her. What are you talking uh, about? I'm shaming him. Yeah, you're actively trying to shame him and uh, to not do that. Oh, do you th oh, I'm sorry. You don't, that's what your tweet was? you don't think that you don't think that re what's that's what the reply yeah, is? Yeah, my tweet was just shit talking somebody like the other 50 mm -hmm. that I make per day. What are you talking so, about? So you don't you weren't trying to get him to stop doing something like that. Wh what? I'm you, calling you him retarded on the Stop that. I literally right. am just calling him retarded. I, I mean, you can just call him retarded. If I wanted him to stop and I was like, hey, man, you're really fucking this thing up. I would DM him. I don't care that much. <laughs>
Like, I, I mean, I, I don't know what you. Yeah, I'm making fun of him online. I get a bunch of likes when I make fun of the quartering. Uh huh. That's the only reason that you replied to that tweet in particular. Well, I mean, part of it was the you fact that such he said a she had child porn on her shit. computer. You it was such an obvious a fucking liar. You are so. I'll tell you the whole shit, story. Dude. All right, what's up with you, man? Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Um, what do you mean? You I, wanted I to it, talk I hope to it was me. worth it. I hope it was worth it, dude. What, worth, what was worth what? Uh, whatever you got out of this, I guess. I don't know. What? Owning you? Like, you, they're saying, like, yeah, oh, sure. I hope it was worth it for the Super Chats. Did you yeah. watch that stream at all? Uh, I still haven't, no. You still haven't watched it, so you're just talking out of your ass right now. You're saying, I hope it was worth it, but you don't even know no. any of the points that I made. And you haven't responded. You were actively shitting on me just a second ago, so it seems as if the attitude is now garnered towards, eh, fuck this guy. Blanco, so, this yeah. is a stream from a month ago in the past. My attitude now doesn't change no, anything today, about that stream. No, today. Yeah, because you're fucking annoying, dude. You're messaging me all the fucking time. At, I messaged you this, like three times. Dude, you're messaging me all this stupid ass shit, dude. You, you, literally, you literally act like an ex, dude. You're just messaging it. So tell I me this. I literally act this, like an ex. This thing. You literally do, dude. Weird. Because you were actively kind of going after me, and going when I bring up how I have very relevant similar things, you just sort of like, dude, you're retarded. It's just like I don't know, dude. Flanko, this is it, my first feels, stream in a month. It feels, genu it feels genuinely malicious. That's what I'm saying. Mal what do you? What does that even mean, dude? You sell these words, but what they have you, no meaning. What do you mean? You're what being is it malicious mean? towards me. Do, do you? Does that it, it mean genuinely that does seem that malicious? I'm trying to ruin your life. Is that what you're saying? No, I think you're trying to like uh, torpedo my YouTube channel, essentially. How? Which is kind of like my primary method of income. Flam. All of the damage I've done to your channel would have been done. I mean, you just you just alone. went on about how my viewership's down, and you're like, "Oh, you know what? I'm gonna Wait, shit so on him some more." So you're admitting that's because of me? You're admitting that uh, your it's probably it's, it's probably in some part, me? yeah. It's probably in some part, yeah. I, so, I mean, I think it's how you've handled you, yourself. You don't you don't you don't you don't think so? You don't think that there's any connection whatsoever? No, I think it's 100 percent. No, you. no, what? Not at all. What? Not at all. Whatever. No, I don't. Okay. I'm not your problem, Flamenco. Me existing. I figure. I figure that you would probably be able to figure out like a little Flam. bit of uh, you know. Uh, Listen, I I correlation love to between take the two events, it, but hey, but I give you a little bit too much credit. The only take credit for your career going to shit is you. That's all on you. Mm, Me no, existing I think, I, I has think, nothing to do with your that, life like, being shit. I think that the I think that the um getting upset about it is a pretty like thing like it's something that everybody would did uh, would go into, and you actively promoted it and actively tried to boost it. You sound like Ralph. Mm, how? This is you just sound. Like I, I'm not like going on how there. I'm not the going on how there's like a, an active conspiracy against me. Your entire argument me. is just there. Was trying to sabotage me and take away my view. Flamenco, I have no control. No, you teach I you think, something I about think YouTube. you are trying. Flam, to, I, I think you, you are trying no, to like shut the lower, fuck up. Um, I taught you everything that you know on YouTube. I've given you advice on how to build a channel, and I'll tell you how this shit works. Give right? me advice I have on no, um, thumbnails. Shut the fuck up. I have no control over your viewership. That is on you. It is your actions. It's how you communicate with your community. It's what you do. That is what leads to you having a good, successful channel or not. All right, that's on you me existing me streaming it definitely has nothing to do with whether or not people are like actively trying to uh, shit on you and lie about you why right? is everybody it shitting has, on you it has it why has, is it everybody has shitting on you is every is everyone who's shitting on you calling you just well, a I mean, Nick pedophile? just called me a pedophile so i don't know what what do you think Nick? Did what do you Nick think Augie? call you a pedophile yeah he did he said he called people pedophiles for less so he just he's, did. so he's saying that he's not calling you a pedophile and he's shown mercy to you that's what he's saying and then he's like i'm done with the sympathy what do you think the implication on that is is that you're retarded? I don't know. Come like, on, Augie. Come on. What are you, There's no way you're this dude, fucking I don't, dumb. I'm not. No, it's not about being dumb. Do you, you think oh, like an autistic you know, you know you're full you of shit like on this schizo. one. No. No, you I think, failed, I think you like 100% like, failed to convince me why I'm full of shit. List. What's the implication on that, Augie? The implication is that he could have called you a pedophile, but he chose not to. Uh huh. Dude, okay. now you're debating Augie on shit I just said to you because you're such uh -huh. a fragile, broken man. If I want to call hey, you a pedo, so, I, I mean, will if you keep call on repeating it enough, eventually it will be to, true. If I want to call you a pedo, I would call you a pedo. Super interesting. Oh. If I wanted to call you a Nick, pedo, I would call you. Why don't you just leave it yeah, you do. You're talking about up. me to Augie, you fucking idiot. Like, you're literally talking about You have tons to say to me. You just want to say it to him. No, because like, I'm you talking to swear. Augie. I have nothing to talk to you about right now. <laughs> you're such a loser. You can come out of my stream later if you want, but like, I'm I'd sure you rather talk to Augie right I'm, now. I'm sure. <laughs> Augie's on vacation. This I mean, is my stream. Totally yeah, exactly. I totally love to bully Nick on my channel, too. Why don't you? Why not? Fuck it. What if you got to lose at this point? Why don't you just go mask off? Mm -hmm. All right, so if I wanted to call you a pedo, I'd call you a pedo. That's not what I fucking said at all whatsoever. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Sure. I call people pedos for less. Man. I do. Fuck I you. do call people Fuck pedos you, you for less. you, fat little coward. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah, I think the people who look Fuck at you Molly Connor are the biggest. Slam, yeah. are you too autistic like to understand what that means? Like, You've not... been on the show before. You've watched huh? me say it about people. Mm, about who, specifically? Who's the person who did less that you called a pedophile? Any Lollycon topic we've ever talked about in the last three years. Any one of them. Okay. Nice. The sympathy thing was I don't feel bad for you because you've just gone around, Mr. Uh, don't be mad at the internet.
and got really I'm mad at the fucking really internet. Right you're a huge walking hypocrite. Oh, Every oh, single oh, essence dude. of you oh, are okay, another buddy. hypocrisy. Okay, buddy. Yes, that's why people are laughing at you. No, it's, people are people are laughing about me because people are being told that's like, oh, Flam is such a massive hypocrite. He's doing the thing that this is he's, why you can't he's always been against you or whatever. It's, a conspiracy it's just like, theory. no, I haven't. You think people are being led to think how these I, things about wait, how, you? You don't you understand conspiracy? that you're the problem. What do you mean? You have conspiracy? no idea why people are mad at what all. Do you mean conspiracy? Because people are being led to think these things about you. No, it's true. You suck. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know, man. All right. I'll, I'll let you get back to talking about me. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> All right, I don't got much more of this. What else do you want to say? I mean, like, you didn't really respond to what I was saying before, so. You're just retarded. What do you want me to respond to? I don't know. It's just that. Uh, it's okay, the... then don't say what? that I'm ignoring you. You don't know no, what you're no, asking I'm, me. I'm, I was going to repeat what I said. All right. It's just, I don't know. It feels, uh, it feels like it's, like, malicious, and it feels like you were, like, actively doing it to try to fuck with me, essentially. Slam. Is anything that you've been called out for unreasonable? Don't say, yes. oh, it's malicious. Really? Yes. 100%. I've been, um, let's, let's see. Took the so, L. like, multiple people have said that I've, like, got, like, a sealed court record or whatever and all that no, shit. No, I'm um, talking about your attitude about this fucking song. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the people. I mean, song. like, in terms of this, like, I've already told, like, I've already said I'm, like, over it with, um, uh, You're not. Mike. You're arguing it. Yes, I am. I'm not arguing about the song. I haven't argued about the song this once at all. I, I just don't know why you're here then if you just don't care about anything. You don't give a shit about anything that's happening and you're you not mad. You were just talking about me. What are you talking about? Okay, well, I <laughs> mean... I don't really see how you've I, mean, I was just, anything I was just shitting. I was just shitting on you. I don't know why you're fucking talking about well, this Well, you don't now. care. Like, you don't care. I don't care about the song. You don't care about anything. So why are you here? That's my point. Anyway, no, I, I care like, about, like, constantly, like... All right, can I, I leave know, just... or am I going to be accused of running away? Do you have anything else... I mean, do you don't, so you genuinely don't think that it's out of malice at all? No. Okay. Well, I think if that I wanted you to be malicious know towards better. You, I would be fucking with you way harder. Uh, all right. If you say, if you say so. Yeah. I, I genuinely don't feel that way, but you know, yeah. Okay. Then you're a schizo. I don't know. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah. I hope. Jesus Christ. That guy's just nuts. He just doesn't get it, dude. It's just like, it's exactly why I said talking to deaf noodles would be pointless, right? He's just got, like, anytime you confront him with something, he just deflects or he just changes the conversation or he just doesn't get it. Like, you'll explain just basic fact to him and he just doesn't understand what the fuck you're talking about. He hopes it was worth it. And then, yeah, best call yet. That was a good one. I will say that. That was. And after months of bridge burning, Flamenco burnt the only bridge he had, leading to now where no one in commentary likes him. After being kicked out of the house, Flamenco would take a hiatus from streaming under the guise of moving out with his girlfriend. Keep in mind that his girlfriend is likely not real, with evidence pointing to the fact that she's, she doesn't even exist. The real reason why he took a break was due to a great loss in subscribers, having no connections in the commentary community, and his parents begging and bribing him to get off the internet. Please note that he was averaging $20 on stream after his big meltdown. Flamenco would end up leaving the internet altogether for a commendable nine months. There were a lot more random and mostly uneventful things I didn't go over about Flamenco's commentary saga, but I went over the most important things. And now, it's time to get into what Flamenco has been up to post-hiatus. OBJECTION! In early 2023, Flamenco would make his return this time with a noticeable decrease in viewers, being shunned by both the Ralpha Male and commentary community, with the only community he was able to run to was the VTuber sphere. He is now covering VTuber and anime news, being in that edgy anime sphere, essentially being an unpopular dollar store of FSS Desu and Hero Hei, where they'll make arguments for liking Lolicon and think the glorious Nippon is a godsend country. After being kicked out of the house, Flamenco would label everyone in commentary as backstabbers that were planning to kick him out because Nicholas DiOrio didn't like him, saying every critical post about him was weirdly hostile and holding on to his grudge against DiOrio. He now retweets posts that shit on commentators, with one shitting on Turkey Tom for finding Lolicon weird, one criticizing DiOrio for protecting disgraced YouTuber Zaptai from false allegations of being a pedo, and here's one shitting on Mudahar from some ordinary gamers for hating the Lolicon community. As you could see, there's a noticeable trend with these. They all involve Pito and Pito adjacent topics. There were many tweets where he would just misconstrue facts in order to get a known on the commentary community, 
There is one where Flamenco claims that Turkey Tom knowingly mods photos on his Discord server and did nothing about it, when in reality, the second that Tom heard that there was a groomer messaging underage girls on his server, he banned the user and any users who knew about it, and then shut the Discord server down and has no plan of ever returning the server to its former state to avoid any potential predators using his server as a hunting ground for miners. Another example is when Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers posted on Twitter that he thinks Loli is a form of pedophilia. As usual, there was a swarm of Lolicons who were mad in the replies. They would respond saying that because Mudahar watched his cartel gore videos, he has no place to hate on Loli, as it's not a real kid, and the videos he watches are of real people. This is kind of a stupid argument as Mula watches gore for the morbidity of it and not for any sexual interest. While Lolicon struck off to depictions of things that are meant to look like children, Flamenco would go privately to his Discord server to cope and seethe about Mudahar, responding to this image saying, They don't like the taste of their own medicine. I think the best way to sum up Flamenco now is basically this meme from Nicholas Diorio. Flamenco's opinion of Loli 2021, and then we skip uh, a few years. Flamenco's opinion of Loli 2023. These tweets, these tweets would eventually lead him to end up on a Bo Black stream to debate YouTubers lyrics and Aiden projects on Nicholas Diorio, Pitilia, and the idea that allegations are evidence. What a wide range of topics. I didn't, I didn't repeat it as if it was a fact. I don't know if you mm, okay. Isn't but, allegations um, evidence though? Yeah, I mean, if we're talking about like it's a legal- It's not very strong sentence, evidence. Yeah. Well, oh wait, this goes back to a funny lore. When <laughs> didn't Flamenco say- Wait, was that what you were referencing, Bo Blacks? Yeah. Flamenco said allegations yeah, are I evidence. Said, um, I said that I believe the previous allegations specifically <laughs> regarding a Twitter Dude, post Bo that Blacks. was like- Fuck, a Twitter post that was like- Five years ago, alleging that um, Keffels left the Communist Party in Canada because of uh, embezzlement of money to spend on ketamine. I want to yeah, say, but, yeah, some, but I know some the, sort of I, some sort of narcotic. I know the context though. I Wait, saw the stream where Aiden was talking. Kinda, to Kind of sounds like something things. similar that happened like later too. Oh, weird. oh yeah, no, that's true. I think you actually ended up being right on that. But at the time, you didn't know that shit. I mean, that's for the same reason we don't give Tommy C a whole bunch of credit. Oh man, gosh, when Tommy like, C makes get so fucking. What a, what a shock! A par what, what a shock! A habitual pathological liar and drug addict sold money for drugs. Hey man, at the end that's of the a, day, you made a, a fucking. That's cool. a really, that's a really, really big uh, risk on uh, your intuition right there to say that. Yeah, I probably believe that's true. Dude, at the end of the day, you made an allegation based on a fucking tweet. Like, a tweet yeah. that didn't provide any other evidence. And, like, Aiden yeah. Projects fucking rape your shit. Like, I don't know if Aiden's the best debater. I mean, I know he that says that, but again... No, that, that's who, true. Who he spent literally... the GoFundMe money? Who spent the GoFundMe money on cocaine? Aiden got you to say Who spent publicly. the GoFundMe money on cocaine? Aiden got you to who say Who spent publicly. the GoFundMe money on cocaine? If you keep repeating yourself, it's not a point. I'm gonna keep repeating myself. You're gonna keep repeating yourself. So I never finished my sentence, but Aiden got yeah. you to say publicly that allegations are evidence, and that's the most. Yeah, they are. They're not necessarily the strongest form of evidence, but they are a form of evidence. I think that like if, if you, you want to play semantics, but it's not bullet. I think that if like an allegation that Michael Alberto was going to go to this e girls DMs are coming from people that are like having a reason to shit on Michael Alberto, it's not the strongest. If like some random person five years ago said that this person stole money from the Communist Party in Canada, and that's why they got removed from the Communist Party of Canada, I mean. Before they got famous, there's a little bit more credibility to that one, wouldn't you say? That's fine, but dude. No, wouldn't you say that there's fact. more credibility to that argument? I don't, dude. You can say there's credibility. Come on, dude. You, you, can, you, can it as a fact. you can answer honestly. Come on, dude. I just said yes. Okay. So, so there could yeah. be credibility to something, but it wasn't. Pre you presented it as a fact when it wasn't. That's at mm -hmm. the end of the day, it's so black and white. You presented evidence as a fact when it wasn't bulletproof evidence. So I never like, presented it as bulletproof evidence. You said in your tweets. I mean, I, yeah, like, I you said, go back and I watch said in one tweet that I even admitted that I should probably have worded better. And if I could, I probably would have, you know, redacted or whatever. But that Twitter right, account's long gone. Uh, okay, on well, the well, street, well. on the subsequent stream that I did on that, uh, I was very careful to say it, this was alleged by this Twitter user. All right, dog. So, um, yeah. no, it seems like his hiatus wasn't much help for him. Flamenco continues to decide to double down on his take because his allegations against Keffels would end up being true years later. He makes it out like this is a big gotcha against the commentary community, but really, he just got lucky. Aiden would later come on stream to combat this claim. Hmm? Why do you think allegations are evidence? 
Yeah, I think that if uh, somebody said something, alleging something specifically, you know, five years ago before the person got popular, it has a little bit of weight worth, you know, thinking about anyway. I'm not asking you know? if it has weight, I'm asking you if it's evidence. Don't don't try and shift the goalposts. I mean, particularly now, with like, you know, <laughs> getting uh, getting cocaine off the dark web with GoFundMe money, like... That, that's not what... Okay. I feel even strongly, oh. more strongly about that position. So if somebody, if somebody just says something, if somebody just says something about somebody mm -hmm. else, like if I was to say, you're a is there evidence you're a pedophile? I mean, regardless of the other evidence that you're a pedophile. I would say sure, but just incredibly fucking weak evidence, because you are known to be a complete, like, schizoid towards me. Okay. Well, and Twitter users are not known to be complete schizoids, but you'll take that word. I mean, if it depends. If it's like a large person, yeah, just like some random dude alleging something like that is wait, a little wait, bit weak. If it's wait, like quick. five years before they're even fucking relevant, eh, a little do, bit do more. Do you not think people can get into online beef prior to relevancy? Huh? Do you not think people can get into? Oh, into sure, absolutely. Beef I just think that it's probably like more worth looking it. into than just some random like nobody. Uh, accusing wait, what was the, that. what was the person who alleged Keffels of this? What was their connection to her? Apparently, somebody who was interested in joining the uh, Communist Party chapter in uh, Canada. Were what they like friends? Did she know him no, her in real no, life? No, no, this person had never met Keffels. This was something that was uh, relayed to them by the person that they had contacted inside of the Canadian allegedly, Communist Party. Allegedly related. To them. I mean, yeah, sure. The person on Twitter could be lying. Yeah. Y yes. And Wait, so you can't even confirm the connection. The, the whole reason we debated in the first place. They didn't post anything about the that. connection. Yeah, what? so you can't even confirm the connection then to this person. So you're literally just taking this random fucking bitch's word. Yeah, I thought that it was bitches. worth pointing out, yeah. That's fucking retarded though. You see how that's retarded. Like it would be how one thing. Retarded? Like, so this would be an example of not bulletproof evidence, but pretty like pretty decent evidence, but it's not like bulletproof. Where it's like Bo Black. Wait, so and now Bo it's been, so now it's pretty you, decent? You, you're let you're you're admitting you're not it's even, pretty decent. You're not even <laughs> listening to what I said. I was giving you're not, you a are you are you, are you fucking fuck deaf up. or stupid? So you, you admit that's pretty decent. Can you, can you no, you, I was saying that this hypothetical is fucking mm. listen listen to what I'm saying. An okay. example of decent hearsay evidence would be Bo Blacks, since Bo Blacks we know is friends with Augie for years. If Bo Blacks would come out one day and say, dude, I have information that Augie is a pedophile, and we know that Bo Blacks has been friends with this person for fucking years, and there's little to gain for coming out with this information. Now, that wouldn't be bulletproof evidence, but given the circumstances, that would be at least decently credible than some random fucking Twitter user with zero followers saying Augie is a pedophile. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So uh, that's why if the Twitter fine. user with zero that's users why I was like, up his name and said that they went to his school, then that's a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, but, but they, that's they, why they I was clarifying. Shut, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. That's why I was clarifying the connection between and the that's why, and, and, and that's why when I did the stream, I was very clear that this was something that this was a person that was alleging. My tweet, I admit, should have been worded differently. So you can't confirm the connection between this person, correct? To Keffels. No, I don't think their Twitter account's even active anymore. So you basically took some random fucking bitches with no credibility. You took some random bitches' credibility on Twitter that has that you just took their word for it. Yeah, yes. He just yes. said yes. He just said yes to that. That's, yes. Do you see how that's so fucking embarrassing? That's not like a giga chat yet. Wait, wait, the person that we're talking about. What did they do with the GoFundMe money? What that's after the fact. You fucking retard. Yeah, you can't. Mm, I mean, dude, if I, I say think, the fucking, I think, listen, I think shit, my listen, intuitions shit. were pretty listen, clear fucking, in the right you're actually, dude. Your brain sorry, is actually dude. fucking melted. If I, I say the world is gonna shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. If I say the world is gonna fucking blow up tomorrow, I'm gonna look like a schizo, and obviously you guys aren't gonna take me seriously. But if the world ends up fucking blowing up tomorrow, do I look like some genius now? No, I'm the same retard because I said it with no fucking evidence. Yeah, your That's intuition, exactly I guess, right. right now. <laughs> that doesn't make you look good. Yeah, you're still the same retard. You, you see that, right? That doesn't add any like validity to what you initially said. You just made like baseless allegations off the word of the Twitter user. Again, I said that specifically on Twitter, and I've already said that I should have worded it differently. And then on the stream, I said this person alleges it. Actually, no. As soon or as as recently as I think like two or three weeks ago, you were still trying to claim you won that debate. I mean, again, who turned out to have used the GoFundMe wait, money wait, for wait, cocaine? Wait, wait, we're going in circles now. Yeah, we yeah, are. I know. This is why talking to you is completely pointless. Wait, no, Do you I'm have anything one. else? I'm not the one that's going in circles, Flav. You just you kind of are, but so like it's okay. Aiden, do you have anything else to add to the conversation? Are you gonna, are you gonna like? Okay, calm down, buddy. So no, do you have anything up, else to add to the conversation? Can I talk? Are you okay? Sure. You need a breather, bro. So you just let me explain to you how what you just did was circular. You brought up the oh my God, Aiden, 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 Aiden. I really, I, I can't. Yeah, you can't shut the fuck up. 
He can't I even shut the fuck up. I genuinely don't fucking care, dude. dude so, you're, so you're asking me if I have anything to I add? I genuinely and then like, when I don't add something, care. Like dude, talking. this doesn't make you look good to fucking just Aiden, talk over someone giving an argument. Like, you're you look stupid. retarded. Yeah, you're stupid. Yeah, but you're, Aiden, you're... the problem is, is that this isn't an argument. Aiden's already convinced that he's right. There's nothing that can actually move him, uh, even admitting that, like, yeah, I should have probably worded the tweet. No, you better. Dude, even if that was the case, you would look way better socially. You would look way better in the stream and conversation. He just cares to argue. You would look no. way better in this conversation, even if that was the case with Aiden, if you would shut the fuck up and let him speak, and then you give your fucking, like, statement after his. But just talking over him, you look like the biggest fucking retard. You realize that, I right? Yeah, that's your opinion, dude. So uh, I'm sure the audience has their own that all fucking agree hey, to. Hey, dude, dude, I really don't fucking care that you're trying to regain relevancy by attacking me. I, I... No evidence, so. <laughs> that just happened to turn out to be probably completely correct, yeah. You know what my accusation is? You're a disgusting fucking pedophile. And you okay. have spent your life online, you've spent your life online molesting little children. I have okay, no dude. proof of That's this. Nice, I, there's no, there's no, there's no base to Aiden, my allegations. the problem is, is that you've but, already admitted that you'll just lie and say whatever you want. Like, I don't fucking No, 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 I won't. You, 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 you see the problem? You add zero fucking anything to the conversation. Do you see the problem in living in a world like this, though, Flamenco? Where people can go on where it's like me. I don't have, like, a complete shit reputation. But if I went on and said, dude, Flamenco is a fucking pedophile. My dude. Like, Based on your fucking dude, logic of what, how you're what, supposed what, to live in the world, what community you, I would have that you're in right now. So I would have, what community so I would do you think you're in, Flamenco? You so reach I a fucking wall. I mean, I don't fucking go around like just randomly fucking accusing people of being pedophiles for no in fucking the world, reason. That seems to be dog. like a bi weekly occurrence for you guys. I don't know. In the, the world, in the world you want to live in, I would be able to accuse you of being a pedophile with decent evidence in your fucking case. So I don't know why you want to live in a world like that, dude. What decent evidence? My fucking hearsay on Twitter. Because that's exactly you mean what your you intention to gain a board. following from paranoid schizophrenics that randomly fucking- Anyway, let's skip to the part where they talk about Lollicon briefly, because it's just Flamenco coping again. Granted, I don't think Diorio touches kids. I think he probably just eats them. Are you- that what, is, what are your good. opinions on Lolly Flamenco? Do you think it's wrong? I genuinely don't fucking care. I- I could not care less. Uh -huh, about yeah. Lolly? Yeah, I have zero interest in it, but... I just- I can't bring myself to care. I really can't. So, oh. do you think that people who get sexual gratification from Lolly are they? Would you, would you? Would they be pedophiles? I just call them weird, yeah. But like pedophiles? Uh, probably not. I probably would only call people that go after like actual people like that. Yeah. But is, isn't a pe so file implies philia, not an action, right? The Aiden, an attraction Aiden, to something. Aiden, so Aiden, Aiden, I really don't fucking care. I just said. Yes, yeah, so I'm just. So I'm, I know. I why are you why are you even here if you're not want to? Why are you here if you're not want to entertain any well, discussion? Because you invited yourself in. Yeah, because I can do that. Yeah. I think if you like Lolly, you're a pedophile. Aiden, I have zero interest in talking to you, dude. Okay. So, Flamenco, the other stuff on this profile that we're looking at here. Um, Aiden, I really don't care. Is there anything else to add on the Alberto thing? It actually. So, the manga actually starts out with a five year old. The, mm -hmm. the, I, 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 do, I do know that hentai dojins are meticulously known to be red for the plot. So, I really don't have anything to add with you, dude. But, but, but the one with the five-year-old, you're admitting that's the one you read? Uh, apparently, yeah. Okay, um... Wait, does you're... the five-year-old get fucked in that? Wait, Boblax, you apparently looked at this. Like, there's Let's no actual... Uh, anything, you right? sent me one picture of oh, it you, that was happened. sent... Okay, so he is an open lolly and Shodokan enjoyer? What? Actively dismissing Aiden's arguments. I think this part is getting a bit repetitive, so let's um, mix things up and skip to my favorite part of these debates. The part where Nicholas Diorio joins. Wait, Boblax, you apparently looked at this. Like, there's Let's no actual. Uh, anything, you right? sent me one picture of oh, it I that was censored. You, you sent me one. Why? You, you, you sent me. He answers like 24 hours a day. Why can't he just answer on the stream? Like, I literally haunt <laughs> this guy's nightmare. Fuck. <laughs> You have a muted Flamenco? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Flamenco? Oh, it's yeah, dog. You said you actually have anything to add? You, yeah, yes, you, no. yes. You see how that's embarrassing? No, I have bro? nothing to add. Not really. This guy has absolutely nothing Dude, to add. Dude, he's saying he's right. saying Wait, you guys are finally agreeing. Now that you muted him, you're agreeing with him, actually. What's up? What's up? He's saying he has a lot to add, bro. He has nothing. No, I agree with you. I have nothing to add. You just did the whole 3,000-year-old dragon defense. I mean, what can I possibly say to make that funnier? Wait, when did I say anything about a 3,000-year-old dragon? You're doing the whole, like, well, I mean, if he jerks off to Lollicon, I guess he's a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I genuinely don't care. Dude. Wait, so I have a question. When you were like trying to cozy up to Keppel specifically, you were completely cool with the uh, Capway Ranch shit? 
when did any of that happen? When was I ever cool with the Catboy Ranch shit? Do you have a single okay, wait, thing it that was out there. Apply? It was out there in the ether. This was like, what, like, this is all the stuff that came out when Keffels had, uh, okay, gotten so Destiny's you, channel flag. So when did you I knew try about this? The you knew about that. You were literally did, on a yes. fucking, you were literally on a fucking creepy little we are gay group therapy stream. Yeah. Wait, a group therapy stream? You I subscribed to her channel twice. Okay. Yeah, we talked on a stream with Teamstar. Like, do you think that I makes you best friend? I think we oh, I do. Yes, oh, yes we did. No, 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 no. This makes so much sense. This is why you thought you and Turkey Tom were listen, best friends. Listen, you listen, a happy, a Christmas. listen. Listen, okay, listen. Listen, I, so listen, I get it, Nick. I, I get it, Nick. 3,000 year old law, 3,000 year old no, dragon. You a little too to weird. Sending minors cat boy collars. I mean, you know, I, I could subscribe to that, I guess. I mean, I know get you can, but I here. never. Get the fuck out of here. Out of here. I mean, I typically think I'm really that sorry. I'm really sorry that Keffels. I'm really sorry that Keffels turned you down, dude. I'm. <laughs> I mean, she really, turned you was, down. She told was, you to kill yourself was, when you made your I was really, I was really hoping for like a hand holding picture, but just wasn't meant to be. Just oh really? Not meant Does to be. your girlfriend exist now? <laughs> Is she real this year? We oh, you up. broke up? Where in Minecraft? Is this <laughs> no. No, bro. <laughs> no. Why did you take that so personally? <laughs> we broke up like 11 months ago. 11 yeah, on, months ago. On Wizard 101. Yeah. I, I don't know. Did, did the kiwi farmers you defend so much swat her too? No. <laughs> did she your mom go and post on the forum about it? My mom? Did your mom or your family go on kiwi farms and post about that too? No. <laughs> oh, dude, wait, what, so, dude, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious because I called you a f which I mean, let's be real, you are. You jack off to dudes. Does that does that justify like my family getting swatted? Because you seem like real oh, people actually, about that. No, it kind of comes, off, kinda comes off as like some sociopath shit. No, you're you're the one who defends Kiwi. Oh, wait, wait, actually. wait, 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 wait. You. Yeah, you were like, giggling about it. That's no, so no weird. I was giggling that you were bragging that your parents had to buy you off so you'd stop uploading because they were scared. What? So they wait, gave you what? part wait, of your wait, grandmother's inheritance. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I said what now? Can I pull up the DMs? We can read them. Sure. Okay, I'll grab them. One second. Um, here, this is, this is great. You're, you're welcome to post the full ones, but this is the context we need. Yeah, my family got sweated after you guys, uh, you know, made the- Oh, after me, ah, uh, you're joining the tipsters. Yeah, actually, the tipsters it's weird. Everything it's weird. Bad it, it, I, listen, I'm just saying, I got docs like, fucking- I'm sorry, Kiwi Farmer Supreme, who was on every single post I got docs like, like, it's I got docs like, yeah, I, got I got docs- When did I ever say it was your fault? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I did I jump the shark there, or is that not what you were insinuating? Wait, when did I ever say that? It was obviously what you were see. This is why it's, Nick. This is why it's pointless to talk to you. Cause you just make fucking shit up, dude. But you your whole just made family. Up a whole I was friends with Keffels and trying to have sex with her, and now I, all of a sudden we're not. What the fuck did I ever say that we're trying to have sex with her? Like 30 seconds ago. That was quite literally. I what said you, you said you're you trying to have sex with her. Wait, I'm sorry. Are you oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made a joke about hand holding about your fake date. No, you literally saying like I'm so sorry she rejected you. I'm sorry. What, what do you- like, I'm sorry, do you think, like, the pinnacle of, like, rejection is not being able to hold a girl's hand? Did you really ever have a girlfriend? Wait, so they <laughs> found your whole family, but they never found your girlfriend, dude? How the fuck is that so fucking hard? He talks to everybody but his girlfriend, she wasn't real! That's, that's actually wild. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's- I mean, hey, lucky. this is the reason why people aren't super thrilled to be smeared as a pedophile. Dude, you're the luckiest yeah, man yeah, in the world, bro, you're so lucky. Can we go through these DMs right here? I can read uh, them, yeah. Yeah, please do. <clears throat> oh, Nicholas boy. Diorio on August, uh, 31st, 2022. Would you like to chat about this all on stream? Flamenco responds with you, lol. Nick responds, seems like you need some money. Eight times the charm, Flamenco. You can get a big win over me. Flamenco responds, nah, parents realized that asking me to quit a decent paying job out of concerns for their safety Very was a crazy. rather big ask. So I got my expenses paid out from some of my grandparents' inheritance. Dude, Nick, you have, your parents had to bribe you to stop streaming with your dead grandparents' money. No. That's what it says right there. We just read it. Those are your words, Flamenco. Mm. Out of concern for their safety. What was so unsafe, Flamenco? Oh, probably your f fans swatting. Oh my, oh, my fans swatting. Okay, now we're back yeah. exactly where we started. Okay, there we go. Okay. Well, well, Nick, so let's, 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 go let's go through the timeline, Nick. Let's okay, go through the timeline, Nick. Let's go through the timeline, Nick. So Kiwi Farm so, Supreme Flamenco hangs out mm -hmm. with America First during the most swats that has ever been found on the entire website. And Michael right when you and your fans friends yeah, decided to smear me as a pedophile magically uh, people oh, yes, go after yes, my family me and my friends, it's so PPP weird and andy worski yeah those are my yes. good friends oh wait that wasn't I'm us either saying. it seems like you going back and wait, looking wait, at nick, Shotokan, nick, you were pedophile. nick nick do your audience randomly fucking accuse me of being a pedophile randomly well like the whole internet randomly no, accuses answer me of being a pedophile. Answer, answer you keep saying okay. stuff like answer people who look at lollicon or in pedos i'm answering it i'm answering it when you say stuff like that on stream that's what they think of you flamenco so nick nick i'm just curious because I called you a f does that mean my family deserves to be swatted? No! Then why do you cackle about it? 
Because you're pathetic and losing. Funny. Okay. It's, 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 it's whole thing is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. All right, dude. Well, as if you've never laughed at that. My condolences to you your family. Like my condolences yeah. to your family. Yeah. It's, it's very annoying. Maybe if they when bribed you a little sooner, you'd stop to, uh, being so swap people on the internet because they get mad at people. Oh, I'm so sorry that you just made up. Swatted. Wow, what a mm -hmm. shocker. I think the former co-host uh -huh. of the kill stream who, mm -hmm. used, who had a cozy.tv website who hangs out on Kiwi Farms all day got swatted. Uh -huh. Must have been Wait, the Oreos okay. fault. So. <laughs> what? I said the former co-host of the kill stream, who has a cozy TV account, who sits on Kiwi Farms all day talking about every bread tuber. Oh, must have been Nick Diorio's fault. He got swatted. Please cry some more, man. When did I ever start crying? Uh, for the last six months, every single day on Twitter, I like haunt your dreams. I'm in every reply. If <laughs> if you stub your toe, it was Nick Diorio. Nick, I had to fucking block you after oh, you blocked oh, me and then re blocked me. Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God, you blocked my alt accounts. Okay, I don't know what you I don't know what you're talking about. Did I hear that right? Not faggot, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I appreciate it. I try. I strive to be successful in that uh, regard. Dude, yeah, I know. One. I like, one called you a dude, he years just, ago. Yeah, was a... <laughs> that is such a weird way to hold a grudge, dude. Wait, what? Such a weird way to hold a grudge, dude. Wait, do you think the only reason that you're not in this community anymore is because you called me the F-slur in a live stream two oh, years yeah, ago? Yeah, 100%. 100%. You are crazy. You are out yeah. of your mind. 100%. Wait, 100%. Have you ever heard of Femnaz? I think you guys I, should debate. I have zero clue who that Christ. is. Wait, no, no, you guys, don't, you guys have a lot in common. Don't, we should please. debate Femnaz. Nah. You, guys are, you guys seem about the same IQ. Nah. <laughs> that would be like, an dude, interesting you're debate, crazy though. crazy chicken shit, my dude. Like, you're out of your mind. Uh-huh, and you're a worthless fat dude. Dude, he's trying to get the VOD nuke so no well, one sees to be it. Fair, I don't, to be fair, I don't have that much money because I didn't get your grandmother's inheritance to quit streaming. Yeah. <laughs> I just got a job like a normal person. Yeah. Going to school, getting my degree. Oh, like a shit. Oh, good. Going to school. By, by 40, you might graduate. And you'll meet another 40-year-old college girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Do you have something against people that start college late? Yeah, you. Because you're gay. Sounds, uh, come <laughs> on, bro. That's... That sounds, that is the most gay shit I've ever heard in my life. Do you have yeah, anything it's wrong? Whatever, yeah, I'm actually discriminating college? against all of them. Everyone in the chat who's 40 remember, in college. Remember, you're a remember. No one knows. Nick actively tried to defend Keffles. I don't know when that happened. Me. But, but you ran to post and really pretended that was. Did. You literally did, dude. Can we, get, can we get any evidence or receipts? Like what? I got the screenshot. I got Let's the debate it. where Aiden whooped your fucking ass on the same subject that you're about to talk about. What? Dude, put the screenshot out. Put the screenshot out. Let's see it. Sure, let's see it. Yeah, I'm defend couples and cozy enough to her. Screenshot. Gonna fuck her trans couple. Or a clip, too. if it's a clip. That's just a tweet. Okay. All right, let's go. All right. What let's see here? what this is. All right, post up on stream. Yeah, I'm just enlarging it a bit. So. Read it out for Michael. Uh, no, Nick can do it. Okay. I will say this sours me from defending her in the future. She tries to use it against me when I took a stance about misgendering her, which was insane. She's attempting to shame me uh, for the dude I chased off the internet, partially due to the lies I made about Keffels. So what was the tweet that, like, the lies he this? made about Keffels, not you? I have no fucking clue, dude. So what did I defend that her I on? saved, like, fucking oh, wait, so what did I so defend wait, her wait, on? So I I'm curious. I, I have no idea, but, like, was it the Catboy Ranch shit, or was that something you reported? Oh, okay, so we're just gonna assume that I, I thought it was cool to Was it the children. flagging people? I, I don't I mean, think it was I that either. Dude, I don't know, dude. What sours you on the Was it the flagging was. you? Was it the flagging you? That, is that Wait, what you so drew the line? You don't have an actual example of me defending Keffels. You just have was an out of context tweet. You you literally said that you did it. That doesn't say that I've defended Keffels. It says I won't plan on it defending was... her in the future. Wait, I actually don't know what you mean. I, I have no context to this. I'm like so a third party. The context to this tweet is I said, hey, can we not just spam man and like train me under every single tweet that I make about Keffels? Mm -hmm. oh, and really? blocking people for and then, it, yeah. That's Keffles, what you take as him defending her? And wait, that's and so that's what he literally out, said it was. And then Tipster made a similar tweet, and then Keffles came out and said, well, it's your fault your communities are like that. So I said, oh, okay, mm -hmm. so I'm just never going to interact with you positively again. Oh, okay. It wasn't because they flagged you. That would probably make sense as, like, this yeah, was before that flagged was flagged. Oh, okay. Flamenco, that was literally nothing. Was flagged me. Oh, okay. But yeah, remember, I remember, I remember, 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 audience. I mean, remember like, I, it was the personal attack that soured him. None of the other shit. That, that shit can fly. That's, that's completely fine. That's, I'm Get sorry, where did over. it say that? Get the fuck out of here. You Holy shit. Wait, so you pulled up this one tweet instead of the other 50,000 that I made that have more interactions than your entire Twitter history. I was one of the most vocal critics of Keffels for months. Are you out of your mind? Okay. Okay, buddy. Wait, okay, buddy. Wait, are you kidding me? That's why. That's why everybody. Well, how do you think Keffels flagged me? That's why everybody me. fucking goes after her and says that you were trying to defend. No, them. it's okay. just you. It's quite literally just you. Oh, okay. I'm. My irrelevancy, man. Nobody who this follows team. me on Twitter. Okay. There's not a single person who well, follows me on Twitter. Well, of course they can't follow me on Twitter because you blocked them. You fucking thin-skinned bitch. Oh, I'm thin-skinned. That's hilarious. Nico, Nico, you really think Nick, you, Nick, Nick, you talk okay, about me hold on, hold on, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Nick, do you or do you not block people for liking tweets? Sure. Do you block every single person that follows me that yeah, replies to you? Okay. That's all I had to ask. Goodbye, fact.
Yeah, That's when not people a... call my friends oh, pedophiles, I, went, I, I blocked them. Like, what are you talking about? I think he left because he knew, like, even from a third party standpoint, <laughs> looking at that, it's like, it's insane if he actually thinks you're defending Keffels for that, looking at the greater body work and everything. You know who I, you know who I block for liking tweets? You know what's really funny? Keffels. I ran away. Anyway, I think that's about it for Flamenco's story, so I'll hit you with the final statement. Throughout this video, we went over Flamenco's short and mediocre rise, and long and humiliating downfall, where he proved he's incapable of ever taking accountability for his actions, just desperately trying to get a win over people. His actions in the past would end up coming back and binding him. Flamenco is a living example of someone who shouldn't be online. A real loser that just needs to stop being terminally online and get a real job because getting less than $20 on stream isn't going to pay for your McDonald's meal, Flamenco. Flamenco, if you're watching this right now, if uh, which is highly unlikely, but if you are, dude, get a real job, you're a people, and kill yourself. Wait, that part was, uh, we disavowed that last part, but uh, anyway, with that being said, please like and subscribe. And also consider supporting me on Patreon. And as always, please don't talk to me. You are coping, coping and seeding. You just can't accept what you're seeing. Yes, you're coping, coping and seeding. The truth is calling, and now you are mauling and coping. Coping so hard. Coping, coping and seeding.